is actually to arrange your two-dimensional artwork in order from largest to smallest, or vice versa. Almost in assembly line fashion, you're going to want to take one at a time off the pile and put them on the wall and start photographing. It's really a simple setup when you're talking about two-dimensional artwork. Three-dimensional is, is much more challenging. In this case, we have an oil painting, I believe, and it happens to be on a frame, so it will set on the table. If you have works on paper, you will need to pin up the work on the wall. By the way, we don't need to really know where the top of the painting is. When you're photographing two-dimensional artwork, you want to set it on the wall as a horizontal image. Basically, uh, it all involves two lights at 45 degree angles to get an even amount of light on both sides. And we're not mixing room light with, the, with our studio lights. We've, we want to turn off any fluorescent lights uh, or any other room lights. Uh, it's important to have one color of light, and that, in this case, is tungsten light. It's a very warm color. You could use other lights as well. Uh, you could even use clamp lights uh, uh, that you'd find at a hardware store if you were doing something like this at home. Now, how do you come up with an even, even lighting arrangement? Well, here's one way to check. Uh, shadows coming off my finger. One is lighter than the other. And so that just means this light on the lighter side is too close. So we're moving it back. And let's check again. Oh, that looks pretty good. That's close enough. It does not have to be perfect. And voila. <laughs> We've got some even lighting going on here. It does not have to be at 45 degree angles exactly. We just want the lights off to the side. Uh, it's going to give us better color, better tonality, and prevent much of the reflections uh, that occur when lights are brought in too close to center. Okay, so we're ready to get the camera into position. Uh, you can see I've got a studio stand here. This is replacing a tripod. It's really easier for us to maneuver the camera on a studio stand than it is on a tripod. In, the, in this case, we can move the camera up and down on this column uh, without having to adjust legs, three, three legs on a tripod every time. So to get it onto the studio stand, the camera, we're going to put this bracket on the bottom, screw it right where the, the tripod uh, eyelet is, and there's an arrow pointing in the direction of the lens, and that gives you an indication of the position on the bottom of the camera. And I'll just get that nice and snug, and it will be fit right on top of the stand on the tripod head. Once the camera's on the studio stand, we're going to swing it into position. The back of the camera is going to be parallel to the artwork. And as you can see, in this case, we're tilting the artwork a bit um, just to get it to stay. And so our camera is going to, uh, it's going to have that same tilt. Basically, what I do is I look through the camera's viewfinder. What I'm going for is a equal border and parallel lines. The tripod head will swivel this way. It will tilt forward and back. And there's also this movement from side to side. Fill the frame with the subject. Uh, that means that whenever you're photographing artwork, be it two-dimensional or three-dimensional, you want to get the artwork up close. In this case, I would leave no more of a border than two or three fingers on any close side. When you come up with the proper exposure, and I'm just going to get in focus and adjust my height. And, and now we're finally ready to take a picture.